Hey everyone, you with Tesla Tom, and thanks so much for joining us today on Ludicrous Feed. Today I'm going to show you how to get to the new EV chargers at Macquarie Centre here in Sydney. I'm currently on Talavera Road going westbound, about to approach Macquarie Centre, and I've been told to aim for the blue level car park. And it's actually on the same level as the Tesla superchargers for those of you who drive Teslas and familiar with that area. It's actually on the same level, but on the other side of the same level of the car park. So that's how you normally get into the Tesla superchargers, but we're going to skip that and go left here, the next one. Okay, so we'll go left up here. And we're going to aim for level two, blue level, so let's go in the right lane. That way we can just scoot up this ramp. Just watch out for this uh, curve here, it is very tight. So watch your rims. And Macquarie Centre is still three hours parking. First three hours parking free. It says exit and re-entry to the car park within one hour will incur charges. So I guess if you take another ticket after an hour, you can come back for more. So here we are, blue level. And let's uh, look for the EV charges. It's always a bit of a hunt the first time you uh, look for EV charges. So that's how you get to the Tesla superchargers on that side. Okay, so there we are. There are the EV chargers right there. I can see them. It's well lit. So we are going to test these out today. And because we're in a Tesla Model 3, I'm going to back in. Of course, depending on where your charge port is, you should back in or drive in, depending. <laughs> Bit of a bump on the spot itself, I'll show you guys once we get out. All right, let's go take a look. Okay, so here we are at the Macquarie Center EV chargers, and uh, they're actually quite well signed. There's the uh, signature EV logo there, and signature blue. There's our Tesla Model 3 there. And uh, you might have noticed as we drove in, I had to sort of get over this uh, plate on the road, so just be aware of that little bump on the road there, or in the parking spot, just to get your wheels over it. All right, let's have a look at the signage. There we go, it's quite nice there. Electric vehicles accepted only while charging. That's a great, great sign. I think all EV spots should have that. Only while charging, that's very important as well. And we've got two charging stations here, or charging stalls. There's that one, and also that one. Have a look at that in a second. And there's another electric vehicles accepted only while charging on the other side. So quite well signed. Uh, let's have a look at this charger here that we're going to use today. There you go. Go electric. Go anywhere. Fast charger. And uh, the screen looks a bit different to what I've seen before. And we'll go through that. This is a tritium charger. And down here there is a RFID card area where you can swipe it if you've got a card from EV. And this is uh, Australian Government, Australian Renewable Energy Agency, ARENA. EV Networks has received support from ARENA for this fast charging station as part of ARENA's Future Fuels Fund. Great to see. And at the back of the charger, go electric, go anywhere. EV. There we go, it's an RTM charger. Okay, so there's the screen there. So we've got on the left side, char demo. 
and on the right side CCS and quite clear instructions there, they're both 50 kilowatts and they're both available at this stage press button to start CCS, so let's uh, push that button Okay, connect CCS plug to your vehicle, so I'm going to get Joy to plug in or show us that CCS to start with there we go, CCS2. Okay, I'm going to press the charge flap on our car, lift it up. Joy's going to plug in. Perfect, sitting nicely. Okay, so now back to the screen. It says use app or tap your card below to authenticate. So Joy's going to go to my phone there. Okay, so we can go press that charge button there. Okay, let's uh, scan. QR code, there we go, let's stop there, it says EV Networks, Macquarie Centre, MS021, Corner Herring Road and Waterloo Road North Ride. And uh, we've got two connectors, connector one, charge demo in maintenance, interesting, okay. But uh, connector two, 50 kilowatt CCS2, that's us. So let's press that one, Joy. Okay, 50 kilowatts available, let's press begin charge and it says 40 cents per kilowatt hour energy consumed for a 50 kilowatt charger. All right, press charge, begin charge. Okay, and that's PayPal, that's fine. I heard a click behind me on the station there. And look at that, there's the graphic there. It says on the app, your charge session is underway. Um, that went to maintenance when you clicked Occupy. Ah, uh, okay. So Joy is saying that uh, it said this side, which, which is the charge demo side, went to maintenance on the app when this started going. So that way, I guess you can't use that one uh, when this one's being used. So there we go. So uh, let's look at the graphic here. So state of charge of our car, 69%. And uh, it's topped up so far 0 0.3, 0 0.32, 0 0.33 kilowatt hours. So that's how much energy has been used from the charger. That's the current charging speed, 49.8. Well, that's how much energy is being drawn from the charger top speed of 50 as well. So we head back to our car to see uh, whether we're getting that full 49.9 or whether some of the energy is being used to, uh, to warm up the battery by turning the motors around on our car. Okay, so inside our car, it's actually going at 42 kilowatts rather than 49.9 from the charger. You might ask why is there a discrepancy? And uh, I've learned now that some of the energy is used to actually uh, warm the battery up by turning the motors over. And because we've got dual motors, uh, both motors will turn. So about eight kilowatts from the uh, charger is being used to do that, to warm the battery, to get an optimum speed. Hence why there's a discrepancy between 42 in our car and 49.9 on the charger there. Now you know. Okay, so something else I quite like about this charger is that um, it's uh, got a good cable management system. So the cable's actually quite long. See, it loops around like there and then back around again to the back of the charger. But uh, up the top here, you can actually pull this down like that and extend the cable just a bit more if you need more length for the location of your charge port for your EV. So that's quite nice there. All right, so once you're done charging, you literally just walk this way and you'll see there that the shop entrance is right there. It says best parking for Big W, etc. And then to the left of that, it's just the shop entrance there. And that's literally where the shop entrance is, right there. So it's a very convenient location indeed. Okay, so we're going to stop charging, so you can literally see a stop button there. Joy's going to press stop. Okay, there you go. Flicks back down there. Stopping. Finished. Please return plug. So Joy is going to unplug it for us. And back into the cradle. Okay, so you'll see now that, um, because now we've returned the plug back into the cradle, now both Chardemo and CCS2 are available for this 50 kilowatt charger. So that's quite clever because when one was being used, the other one is quote unquote being under maintenance. Now you know. All right, everyone, these are the EV 
DC fast chargers, 50 kilowatt tritium chargers here at Macquarie Shopping Center. Like I said, on the same level as the Tesla superchargers on the blue level, look for the best parking for Big W area and you won't go wrong. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Until the next time, happy charging.